and gentlemen, Uriah Faber! And as we see our lovely ring card girls, Kayla and Kimber, bringing you the action all night long. And we are going to get started, guys, right off the bat. And in, this is going to be a catchweight fight, guys, at 140 pounds. And let's send it up to Garrett Fertig for the official announcement. And now, ready to make his way in our first prelim bout, Salvatore Bruno. So Saul Bruno, the bull, man, he's out of the chute. And uh, he's a 5'5'9 featherweight champ in 2021. He's got a purple belt in jujitsu, kind of a striker. Uh, he, he likes to set up, kind of use his range. He wants to beat up the legs. He's uh, currently one and one. Uh, yeah, one and one as a pro. And he's taking on Joseph Lee. And yeah, there's Saul Bruno. Guy, man. Absolutely. Anybody who trains at the shoot is going to be tough, and he's going to be taking on a guy from MMA Gold. Let's send it up to Garrett to bring out his opponent. And now his opponent, Joe Lee. ranked number seven featherweight in A1 combat. Yeah, Joe Lee is a uh, cool Joe Lee out of MMA gold, man. Fighting out of Sacramento. Uh, kid's been on our show a couple of times, man. 34 years old, just came off of a great win. Um, versus, uh, or sorry, uh, he, he fought uh, Vincent Colonel. Uh, in his first fight out with us, got a win by decision, then got a loss by Abdel Kaldar, who's been Abdel on a Kabul tear. Kaldar, Dude, yeah. Kabul Kaldar has been on a tear. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, this is uh, actually... And listen, this is a guy, Joseph Lee, who's fought our Bantamweight champion, Peyton Talbot, who, by the yes. way, is a stud. Yes. He's fought Wayne Dar, Kaldar, as you said. This guy's good, man. Yeah, and he's continued to up his game over there with Jim West, so he's... Uh, He's ready to go, man. This is going to be, uh, like I said, from the top of the card, man. This is going to be just a banger. This whole show is going to be a banger. And this one's going to start the show, featherweight division. It is Sal Bruno out of the shoot, taking on Joseph Lee of MMA Gold. And let's send it up to the voice in the cage, Garrett Fertig. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Sold Out Hard Rock Live here in Sacramento, California, as A1 Combat 7 Night of Champions kicks off our prelims 
presented by Connected Cannabis Co. Find them online and order at ConnectedCannabisCo.com. We're now set to go three five-minute rounds at a contract weight of 140 pounds. Introducing first, the Legacy Farms Blue Corner. Standing five feet, nine inches tall, his official weight, 141 pounds even. With a professional record of one win and one loss, he represents the shoot and fights out of Bakersfield, California, Salvatore. The Bull Bruno. And now introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the Legacy Farms red corner. Standing five feet, six inches tall, he weighed in at 140 pounds even. He is one win and one loss in the A1 cage, representing MMA gold. He fights out of Sacramento, California, introducing to Joe Lee. Your referee, Frank Trier. He was from Sacktown. I'm telling you, man. And the most famous guy in the cage again, Frank Trigg, referee, UFC legend. And only just one pound separated these guys at weigh-ins Bro. yesterday. Bruno came in at 141, Joseph Lee at 140. Of course, they're both featherweight fighters, but agreed to fight at a catchweight. Um, and Joseph has fought at bantamweight as well. So inside scoop on this is that, so for those of you that don't know a whole lot, I, I don't want to go into it. I'll go into Remind me, I'll go into it some more. But uh, both these guys one and one trying to get, uh, you know, they need that win, man. Both these guys are looking to have a, a plus on the record. Right. So these guys are both hungry, man. Both these guys want this win bad. Both guys starting out with some kicks. Bruno threw a head kick. And that was countered by an uh, outside leg kick from Joe Lee. And now it's Bruno going to the inside of the leg. Bruno, of course, in the black trunks with the red trim. And the gray trunks belong to the guy who just landed a right hand on the way in, and that's Joe Lee. And there's another one that just goes Both throwing heavy hands, bro. Both of them, like, tight guards. Both of them are keeping their guards up really tight, but looking I mean, real this similar. Is the, listen, this is the battle of the hairstyles to start <laughs> out the show here on YouTube. I'm a little surprised Joe Lee didn't dye that back, that little toe, tail in the back, man. Like, get that five, man. Get that yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, there's not a lot of hair there, but shoot, why not? <laughs> Round one of a scheduled three catchweight opening contest. Uriah Faber's A1 Combat 7. We're live in the Hard Rock. Jim Cooley, nice Chad Shepard. And so far, they're feeling each other out. A little strike here and there. Nothing really, no punches and bunches, no combinations just yet, Chad. Like I said, both guys want the win. So neither one of them are going to go out kind of too fast, too hard right now. Right. They both want to make sure that they measure each other up. It's like, man, I need this win, so I don't want to make a mistake. Right, so that's where they're at right now. That kind of that adrenaline from being in the under the big lights and everything, right. kind of letting everything settle. And right as I say that, Joseph Lee threw a, uh, an outside leg kick followed by a one-two punch, and just now he threw a triple jab followed by a right cross. So Joseph Lee now throwing some combos, letting but again, like you said, bit. yeah, to loosen up a little bit, looking for some that uppercuts. Chin a little high though, man. Yeah, and the hands a little low. When the chin <laughs> is high and the hands are low, that is a recipe for disaster. Yeah, it is. Especially when somebody's got a nice tight high guard and they're just waiting to counter like Saul is right now. Joseph Lee never been knocked out. He's been subbed one time. Sal Bruno, though, when he wins, especially as an AMI, he finishes. Two knockouts, two submission wins on his record as an AMI. He's definitely looking real calm in the pocket right now. Even under fire when Jolie was coming at him real hard, he got hit with a nice right hand right there and ate it just fine. These guys have been pumped for this show for a couple months now, Chad. It's just nice such body a, shot. a huge event for these young fighters, especially on the prelims. Getting to fight at A1 Combat for a guy like Uriah Faber. Next step, UFC fight pass, and then from there they head to the show. Bruno's putting stuff in the bank by going to that body with those kicks, man. Yes. He's got the front kick, a couple of round kicks to the liver. He's, he's putting money in the bank right now. Hopefully that'll pay dividends, drop those hands on uh, Lee, and maybe he'll get a... Ooh, some spinning. Look out, man. He's coming in like a tornado. He missed with it, but it threw Joseph Lee off just enough, and it looks a little slippery in there tonight. Both these guys have slipped a couple times. Uh, brand new canvas. Yes. Brand new graphics. So there is a good chance that there might be a little bit on there, and especially as they start to sweat. You know, and, and especially when you do like a front kick to somebody's body, right. and then the sweat gets all over your foot. <laughs> it's slippery, slippery no matter what. But. And still kind of a feeling out process. A few shots. No one's been on the ground yet. He grabbed the leg earlier, did Joseph Lee, on that body kick from Sal Bruno, but was not able to finish the leg sweep. And the, the reach advantage is definitely evident because Joseph Lee is the busier fighter, but he can't quite get in on the reach. Right there, yeah, he a ate a jab trouble. on the way in. Yeah, he's, you know, four inches shorter. I'm sure the reach might even be worse. He does like Heavy to go to that leg outside kick. leg kick, yeah. He's Bruno comes a bunch in. Of times. Bruno counters with one of his own. 
This is MMA Gold. Joseph Lee taking on Sal Bruno of the shoot. We are opening this show. Make sure you guys go sign up for UFC Fight Pass if you have not already. The main card will take place there, including three title fights. You know, I like that they're taking their time, Jim. Uh, yeah, you know, they've I mean, got a long time in there. 15 minutes is a long time. Exactly, and the fact that both these guys are only one and one, you know, sometimes you'll see guys that go after it maybe a little too Oh, that was a big right hand, and Ader gave one right back, too. Sorry. No, they'll, they'll kind of turn it on too fast. Right. And, no, and, no. and unless that's your style, like a Nick co ring, right. then you don't want to do that. Oop, Shooting careful. for a single, he's got the ankle pick, but he eats some shots on the way in, does Joseph Lee. He Bruno, almost had him down. Yeah, Bruno did a really good job of posting on the head and kicking that leg out. Yes. Uh, may have may have potentially landed one to the back of the head, but... Ooh! Ate so a big left Joseph hand Joseph Lee ate a right, yeah, and then Bruno ate a right. Or actually, it was a left, yeah. but I'll tell you what, when you get when he smiles, that means it hurt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, that was a good shot. That one opened up my eyes big time. Only about 30 seconds left in this round. Uh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one to call, too, man. I'm not seeing like a, any standout winner in this round yet. No, it's it's a very it's close very round. Back and forth. Sal Bruno's done a good job using his reach, and in the corner of Joseph Lee is Jim West. Jim West will be joining our broadcast team later on this evening, doing some in between round analysis. He's going to jump in and do some commentary with us as well. Mike partner Chad Shepard's going to jump up and do some in cage interviews for our title fights as well. Yeah, so man, don't got hold a lot that of stuff me. coming. <laughs> And just 10 seconds remain. Sal Bruno got busy at the end there, yeah, spinning back fist or right hand. Both go errant. I'll tell you what, I like round. the way that Sal Bruno is using his reach. I really, I really do. I do too. It's given, uh, given Joseph Lee something to think about. He's going to have to figure out how to close that gap. Uh, he needs to start using that leg kick that he's been hitting to try and do more of that. There's the like single leg the attempt that turned into an ankle pick. And as you said, Sal Bruno did a great job pushing him off there, stopping that takedown. And Kayla will let us know that it's going to be round two. And also Kayla Barkey Catering, sponsor of the knockout of the night. Yeah, don't forget that. Not only can they win 500 bucks if they dyed their hair and win their fight, but and knockout of the night gives you 500 bucks as well. So we're going to find out who. All kinds of money to be had yeah, tonight, Yeah, we're just throwing money around here at A1 right. Combat. Joseph Lee looks tired in the corner after one round. Sal looks, his shoulders are not coming up and down. His mouth's not wide open. No. Joseph looks a relaxed. little bit more tired, and that might be the frustration trying to get inside that reach. Possibly, yeah. Round number two coming your way. We'll see, though. Jim West is, you know, he's a good coach, and he's, uh, you know, he's been, you know, coaching guys like Anthony Hernandez. He's got Aspen Ladd, you know, just to name a few, Max Griffin. You know, he's been, you know, he's, he's been in and out, so he knows exactly what's going on in, in Joseph Lee's head and how to get there, so. Bruno picks back up with the leg kicks. Both these guys throwing good leg kicks. There's some tenderness on the inside of both of their legs and the outside, Lee legs. Both guys fighting orthodox, right-handed. Bruno's looked for that head kick a couple times as well, Chad Shepard. Yeah, it's gone errant, but uh, it's close. And, you know, keeps running. Oh, look out, Joseph Lee getting a little tricky with a little oh, double kick Crane action. kick, brother. Yeah. There you oh, go. Down he goes. Oh, I think he cool. slipped. Yeah, but Joseph Lee too, looking but... to uh, capitalize. Lands a big uppercut. Bruno's in trouble, Chad. Yeah, is. I think he's okay. I think it's just there's a lot that he's getting hit with. Ooh, that's right. a big it's, right hand. It's hard to kind of get back in the groove after you've taken those big shots. He's got to get away from him, turn around, and then do what he's doing right now. Right now, though, Joseph Lee with the underhooks and trying to pommel is Sal Bruno. Yeah, he needs to get those underhooks on that right side or hit that high whizzer, start working that right hand underneath. I'd like to see Joseph turn. Lee throw some knees here as well. Yep. Good thing yeah, is... I like the frame right there. Bruno's right in his corner here. Yep. Looking nice for... Yeah, he's got he's a high crotch there. Leg. Bruno doing a good job. He needs to push his head down, Chad, spread for his guillotine. legs out. He's he is going for a that guillotine. guillotine tight. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty tight, man. If he lets him get He's it got in there it. too tight. Yeah. Chad Shepard. Oh, he lets oh, him go. Oh, yeah. Good job. Joseph Lee got his right hand in between the left arm and the body of Sal Bruno to get out of that. Just enough to make Lee think about, I don't want that takedown anymore. Which is really all he was trying to accomplish. He checks that leg kick, which is the first time we've seen either one of them really check a leg kick. Who ate a big right-handed Lee? Got some it's, blood coming out of the mouth of Bruno, so he definitely got clipped with something. There, well, he got landed, a big uppercut landed, a couple of rights landed as well in that barrage when he was trying to get away. And it looked like a slip, to be honest with you, that just ended with him getting beaten up on his feet Ooh, for a moment. Big right hand. Joseph Lee lands a right. Bruno lands a right of his own. And a nice kick to the body to finish things. This is going to be one heck of a night, guys. Three title fights coming your way. And yeah, this is just the first of many. Yes. Many good fights coming up. I'm looking forward to this entire night. 
Oh, solid body shot from Bruno, man. Solid body shot. Still to come here on YouTube, Brennan Crow will take on Chris Innocencio in the featherweight division. That'll be right here on YouTube in the A1 Compact prelims. That's coming up next. You know, I'd like to see Bruno put more combos together. He keeps, seems to be throwing a lot of single shots versus putting combos together. There, there see, threw a combo, a nice left, right, and so landed it. So what I'm thinking is when he starts to throw combos, he gets inside the pocket, and he's given Joseph Lee a chance to land shots. He's realizing if he lands one or two, which I never, ever advise, but when he lands one or two, he can get right back to his range and use that reach. So maybe that's what he's thinking, because the couple times that he's got in there and mixed it up, Chad, he's eaten a lot of a leather. So. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he's just a little tentative from it. And it's, ooh! But I'd certainly like to see him, even if he did a strike and then slip and then counter with some combo shots. Bruno that, doing that a little low. But. Bruno's smiling. He's having a lot of fun in there. Yeah, he is. Once again, if you're just joining us, round number two, YouTube prelims. Black trunks with the red trim belong to Sal Bruno with that red hair to match and the gray Hayabusa trunks belonging to Joseph Lee. Catch weight 140, first fight of the night. First round too close to call. Second round obviously with the knockdown or if they call it a knockdown and that big barrage I'd have to give it to Joseph Lee. Although since then Bruno's done a great job. Yeah he really has. Yeah he's landed good shots, solid strikes. Still to come here tonight, Andrew Coyne takes on Justin Cornell for the featherweight title. Right followed by another right there. Ozzy Alvarez will fight Tyson Miller for the welterweight title. And Ryan Loader goes to war with Troy Green, and both those guys in great shape. Wait till you see these two walk yeah. into the cage. That's going to be for our 185 uh, vacant title right now. Yeah, that's going to be a great one. But right now, these guys are still getting after it. Slow. The pace has slowed down a little bit, but uh, on ooh, nice, nice and counter. Bruno ends up Bruno. on top. And half really guard. nice counter from Bruno. He's going to look to pull that right leg through Chad yep. and get full mount here. And yep. he's doing a good job, and now he's got side control. Good shoulder pressure. Made Lee think about other things beside that leg. I like his left hand placement under the head. Mm -hmm. Although that's now he's going to look for elbows. some elbows. Like to see some knees here from Bruno. Once, you're st once you've established your, your base, your frame. Yeah, he's dropping some elbows on him, trying to loosen him up. I don't know if he's going to go for his submission. The mount is right there. I mean, it's he, he can go for it anytime he wants. And and I said earlier, the knockdown was really the only big defining moment in this fight, in this round. However, this could change the ties this right here. This completely changes it. Sal he, Bruno most likely won this round. He wins this round. Yeah. And, and we don't know who won round number one. No. Bruno could be ahead by two now. He very easily could be ahead by two. But the... Yeah, it's a, it, either way, it's tight. So, absolutely. I, you know, the way I look at it is both these guys could think, hey, if I'm the corner, I'm saying, hey, guys, we got one. Like, we need this round. No matter who I'm talking to, right? Absolutely. If I'm in Bruno's corner, I'm telling him, hey, bro, we got one round. If I'm in Lee's corner, hey, bro, we might be down two rounds. Could be down two rounds. We know we know Bruno's got at least one, as you said. Let's take a, take a here we look go. at what we got going on here. Nice uppercut. Oh, this, this is, is that barrage, right little... and he landed quite a few shots here, Chad. This is when he busted open the mouth and the nose. He did, but not at any time did Bruno look like he was in danger. Correct. He just looked like he needed yeah. to get out of there and he reset. Just, yeah. Here's the takedown. Nice takedown. That was beautiful, yeah. That was a beautiful. It looked Little like he's wizard. The one set it up, and Into then a trip. Lee yeah. tried to counter it, and he just hit it with that arm under. Looked like he was going to look for an arm triangle right there, possibly yeah, a head and yeah, arm choke, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Bruno still does not look tired. I like the conditioning on Bruno. Joseph Lee doesn't look exhausted. Both these guys in great shape. What a way to open the show. Two featherweights fighting at 140, though, tonight. But both guys needing a win, and both guys coming out and putting on a nice little show in this opening fight. That's what I was going to tell you. So for a lot of people that don't know is that the fighters are only allowed to gain a certain percentage of weight back after they weigh in or the day of weigh-ins, which is 10%. If they weigh in over 10%, then they get flagged by the commission here in California. Well. Both these guys got flagged for gaining too much weight in between weigh-ins and fight night. Ooh, Joseph Lee's oh, in cut. trouble. He's he ate some shots, and then he ate a foot kick. And now oh, he's just Bruno trying to stay over safe. Him. Yeah, he's all over him. He's got his back. And oh, he's and bleeding. he is busted Yeah, he got cut open. open. It's over the uh, left eyebrow, I think. So what happened, Chad, was while we were talking about the weight cut, he got hit with a, with a two-shot combo that stumbled him, followed that with a right front kick that busted him wide open, and he went down. And immediately, Bruno swarmed him. Yeah, he is all over him like white on rice, too, right now. And and Joseph Lee, he really needs to set himself into that cage if he can. Yes. He needs oh, to get his back to triangle. the mat. Back to the mat. Well, now he's got to get to that side. He's got to get to that, that body triangle side. Yes. So he needs to get to his right, get that leg down. Because right now, Which that is knee hard is to do pressure. considering he's pulling him to the left. Yep. 
But yeah, he's got to try to find his back to the camera. He's, he's in choked. trouble. I can't see it, but it looks like that choke is yeah, in we tight. Don't, we don't, I don't have, have the, the right angle camera here. angle, but he looks like he's oh, in Oh, he's there. in deep. It's over. Oh, he's yeah, going to tap. He's already waiting. He's out. He's asleep. He's out. Just like Saul that, Bruno Saul gets Bruno the win. has finished Joseph Lee in our opening contest. A1 Combat 7. Sal Bruno needed that <laughs> win. He came in. He looked good. He used his reach. Yeah. He won round two, and he came out in round three as an animal. Yeah. And landed some big I'm going to look forward to seeing the highlights on that. Uh, <clears throat> What set that whole thing up? And Roy Farhi, our inspector, <laughs> almost got socked in the mouth yeah, right there. Yeah, he's going to have to use some head movement, man. <laughs> Good win for Sal, Sal Bruno. Sal Bruno is excited about his win. He was having fun the whole time, Well, he gets Chad. 500 bucks for his hairdo, baby. He absolutely he got, does. He got an extra 500. <laughs> there you go. First Duomo fighter of the night, and he picks up the 500. Yeah. Hopefully, we get a look at some highlights here. That was active. There is Sal Bruno flexing. <laughs> Picks up the win, first fight of the night. Hard Rock Casino Resort, Sacramento at Fire Mountain. And look at him, he's happy. Real yeah, happy. man. I mean, look, extra money. Hey, wins feel good. And let's take a look at some of the highlights. This is this is it right here. He's already so cut he's already from the cut. punches. Yeah. Yeah. And then the kick landed right on the same spot, so he busted it open even further. And I'll tell you what I liked. He didn't just rush in there, Chad, and throw shots. As soon as he had his back, he got his hooks in. Yeah. And I'd like to see what split him open. I wonder if we can. I think there was I don't a know if combination. The truck has the ability that, to go back to there's that, the finish. There's the finish right there. There was a combination just before that kick. It looked like a left right, and both shots landed hard. Yeah, and that's like what got him stumbling. Right in the middle of the head is what it looked like. And that's what set up that kick. Either way, Sal Bruno comes out, shows up, shows out, picks up an extra 500 bucks while finishing Joseph Lee. Let's send it up to Garrett Fertig for our official announcement. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, referee Frank Trigg has waved off the contest at one minute, 12 seconds of round number three. Declare your winner by rear naked choke due to a technical submission. Salvatore, the Bull Bruno. And Sal Bruno did by rear naked choke. But that's okay, he knows he won. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a cool new haircut, a win. 500 you, bucks in his pocket. 500 bucks.